Hi friends, and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's great to hear. Let's sing our good morning song together. Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to this side, fly to that side, fly back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Bring the circle up over your head. Let's stretch to this side. Stretch over on the other side. One last stretch up at the top. And now let's bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful day so far. We have three things that we need to do before we go on to the calendar and weather charts. Number one, turn on your listening ears. Number two, put on your thinking hats. Today my thinking hat has a ribbon underneath my chin, so I'm going to tie it up into a bow. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts, like this. Boom, 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 boom. So let's do a double check. Our listening ears are on, our thinking hats are on, and our hearts are all warmed up. And now we're ready for circle time. First, let's go over the date. We'll begin at the top with the month. Do you know what the month is? July. You're right. The month is July. And today is July 13th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was July 12th. And today is July 13th. And the year is 2021 or 2021. I wonder how many days we've had so far in the month of July. Will you count them with me? Take out your counting fingers and warm them up to give them a little stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have had 13 days so far in the month of July. Now, let's hold up our seven fingers for the seven days of the week song. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart and we'll go over the days together. Listen carefully for the sound that the day starts with and if you know what day it is, you can tell me. Let's see. Yesterday was M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. So that means that today is T. Tuesday. And tomorrow will be W. Wednesday. Will you sing today is Tuesday with me? Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season, friends? Summer! You're right, it's summertime where I live. And now we'll travel back down to the bottom and let's sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today, I have a picture of the sun shining behind a cloud because when I look outside, it's mostly sunny, 
but there are a few puffy white cumulus clouds in the sky. And my temperature chart is on orange because it's warm outside. Warm and mostly sunny with a few puffy white cumulus clouds. Look outside of your window, friends, and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So yesterday, we started talking all about this letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Let's make that sound together. Err, err. And which letter is this? R, that's right. This is a capital or uppercase R. R says R, R. I wonder what's inside of the letter box today. I know that it's something that starts with the letter R, R. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a jewelry. So this jewelry you wear on your finger. Hmm, what kind of jewelry would you wear on your finger? Do you know what it's called? Let's take a look. This is a ring. So a ring is a piece of jewelry that you wear on your finger. Ring starts with the letter R. R. This is how you write an uppercase R. R. One more time. And here is the number of the week. Do you know what number this is? Seven. That's right, friends. This is the number seven. Will you show me seven fingers? Let me put my chalkboard down. We will hold up one hand. One hand has five fingers. And when you add two more fingers, you have seven. Seven fingers. Let's count to the number seven together using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to be counting to the number seven using the large bead frame. So we will be counting the green beads, which are the units at the top. Let's count seven units together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven units. I have one more thing to count today before we move on. Inside of the number box, I have seven flowers. So these flowers are clovers. Last week, I showed you the leaves from a clover plant, and these are what the flowers look like. I'm going to line them up across the top of the box so that we can count them together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven flowers. Yesterday I showed you how to say calm in sign language. Do you remember how to do that? Let's do that together. Calm. So I have a special friend that I'd like you to meet today. This is Giraffe. Now, I have some great news to tell Giraffe. Today, after dinner, I'm going to bring Giraffe with me and we are going to go get ice cream. But Giraffe doesn't know this yet. It's a surprise. On a hot summer day, Giraffe loves to eat ice cream as a special treat. Do you think I should tell him? How do you think he'll respond? Okay, I'm going to whisper the secret into his ear, and you watch his body and see how he responds. Oh my goodness! 
goodness. Look at you, giraffe. Friends, how do you think giraffe is feeling? Excited. That's what I was thinking too. Giraffe's body was moving all around. Excitement is definitely a positive feeling, but sometimes it's a little hard to calm your body down after you feel so excited. For today's work, we are going to make something that is very calming to look at. For today's work, we are going to be making a sensory bottle. So you are going to need a plastic water bottle that is filled up almost all the way with water. You're going to need a food coloring of your choice. I have this yellowish orange color right here. And I also have some glitter. I'm going to keep mine pretty simple today. Um, so I'm just going to be adding the glitter and the food coloring. And I have these scissors to open up the packet of glitter. Just going to trim off the side. And the first thing that I'm going to do is remove the top from the water bottle. And next I'm going to add a few drops of the food coloring. So again, you can choose whatever color you have at home. Uh, there are so many different options when it comes to making a sensory bottle. You can add all sorts of materials. You can add oil, you can add sequins, pom-poms, beads, colorful googly eyes. But today I'm just going to be sticking with the yellowish orange food coloring and some glitter. So now that I have my drops of food coloring in here, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And next I'm going to add the glitter. Looks like I need to trim off a little bit more to open it up. There we go. And I'm going to shake the glitter inside of the water bottle like this. Add a little bit more. And let's see what that looks like. So before I shake it all up, I'm going to put the cap back on. Ooh, that looks great. But I think it could use a little bit more glitter. So I'm going to take the cap back off and shake some more glitter inside. And put the cap back on before I shake it. Let's get the scissors out of the way as well. Oh, that looks great. So you can shake your sensory bottle, you can move it up and down, but once you are finished adding all the materials inside of your sensory bottle, I recommend using a hot glue gun and just adding some glue around the outside of the top in order to secure the lid. Otherwise, the sensory bottle may spill all over the place. So just adding a little bit of hot glue underneath to secure the lid. And then you have a sensory bottle. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. So I have my sensory bottle right here, and I'm just going to add it into my mindful toolkit right next to my bubbles. Now remember, these tools don't have to just be used for the big emotions. They can also be used for positive ones. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give my video a big thumbs up and don't forget to find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one more song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.